Dum, dum, Hi, dum, gaga, and welcome yeah, to dum, Noise dum, Pollution. Gaga, dum, it's a, dum, gaga, my, yeah, um, dum, I'm pretending gaga, like my uh, dum, gaga, fuzz pedal's yeah, broken. Dum, this is what gaga, it would be like. Dum, it's like a shreds. Dum, gaga, yeah, dum, yeah. Gaga, welcome to Noisy P gaga, yeah, with your dum, host. Dum, gaga, dum, dum, I'm Bobby V. Noise Pollution. Great. Bobby V. Bobby Vibes. That's my name. Oh, groovy. I'm a human vibrator. I also stress whisperer and stuff vibe out to vibe every time okay great wow thanks oh wow it's uh the the the, the liverpool scouse guys are playing soccer and they're drawing nil nil all at the minute so thanks for um Thanks for tuning in um, to the uh, to the noisy P. Oh, so I've got so many tabs. I'm just tabbing through, just seeing if yeah, it's still nil nil. Foot stuff. Check it out. Thanks. Ooh, foot stuff. <laughs> yeah. So um, thanks for tuning in. Obviously the. Uh, Massively, uh, massive game going on in the empty had. <laughs> it was a poor atmosphere even before, uh, even before behind the closed doors, wasn't it? Poor atmosphere in the empty had. Uh, there's some people cheering in, in the around the corner from me, so I assume there's been a couple of uh, close shaves. I don't know if that warranted a extra. Here's, here's an impression of the the. Hey, pass me. The Pass me the ball. Boom. Oh. Boom. Uh, oh no. And everyone's happy. Everyone walks away, multi multi billionaires, and we're all having a nice time. So hi, I've been in work today. I've been in the YMCA. Uh, here's how I live. Um, oh, they're not playing in uh, in our field today. They're, they're playing in the empty head. Um Pass me the ball, please. Uh, there's a really funny video of uh, Kevin uh, Kevin De Bruyne as a kid, as a Liverpool fan, which everyone should go and watch. Uh, so this is, a, yeah, How I Live Recently. Let's do it. How I live recently, don't worry, my first cut is still working. Oh, baby, baby, yeah, how I live most recently. Wow, what a catchy jingle. Um, yeah, so I was in, th uh, and a good friend of mine over this sort of, since I started the, the YMCA on the 1st of April, boring, you've said a billion times, uh, I'll say it again, uh, I worked there on the first, started working on the 1st of April, and uh, uh, a lady called Carol was working there, who's sort of part of the um, the uh, relief housekeeping team, so she came in, and, and uh, on Saturday, she was like, oh, it's my last shift, Rob, and I uh, proceeded to um, I proceeded to go with a big goodbye. I was like, oh, Carol, it's been so nice working with you. Oh, my God, we, d we did it. We worked through the whole of this sort of intense part of the lockdown or whatever, second wave aside. We're, uh, we, we did it. And she was like, yeah, I'll see you soon. I'll see you around. I live in Toxteth, Rob. So, and then she was in again today. So the same thing happened with um, with the YMCA. Uh, they gave me a card and said, oh, Rob, thanks for cooking all the meals. Uh, he's been great. You're a really fun guy. Thanks. And then they were just in. I was just literally in the next day. I had the card, and then they they called me and said, "So yeah, always swerve, swerve the big uh, the big goodbyes." Uh, can be uh, a thing. So I, th I thought I'd start off with a silly uh, a silly uh, little impression. Uh, this is an impression of Justin Bieber. So he's in a restaurant, and he and it's a bit. It's getting on. And um, he's looking at the menu, and he's like, uh, he's like, uh, is it too late now to eat sorbet? Oh yeah, cause missing more than just a yum pudding. Oh, is it too late now to eat sorbet? <laughs> Some sorbet now. Ooh, sorbet. Oh, yeah. Ooh, sorbet. Because I know, I know that I'll let myself.
yourself down But it's okay if I eat sorbet now Thank you. Uh, yeah, it's always that thing, is it? Is it too late to eat a sorbet? Um, that was, yeah, the other thing. I um, Speaking of desserts, uh, in work today, there's the obviously the support group. Great bunch of people. You've got the residents and then the, su the, 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 key, the support workers who are sort of looking after the residents, making sure they're on track, kind of helping them engage and move through and obviously move elsewhere and become independent living. So... Uh, you know, all the, the residents are on m methadone and various other kind of stabilizing, um, you know, neurochemically things. And then the, all the support staff are on chocolate and, s and they snack. So today they were like, Rob, there's some, someone's dropped off a load of chocolate. And I was like, oh, I'm not really, not really. Well, I didn't say that. I was thinking, oh, I don't really want any. So they were like, oh, Rob, come on, check on, check out these chockies. Excuse me. And I went in. And I was like, oh, this this guy he was the first person I ever did a shift with. He had all the chocolate on his table. And he was like, Rob, come on, come and grab some chockey. And I was like, oh, I don't really want to, but okay. So I did. I looked at the table. Great selection, fantastic selection. So I, went, I opted for the crunchy. And uh, seriously, it pranged me out. I don't know. It's like it's been a while since I've, uh, since I've, uh, since I've crunchied. I'm usually... Uh, this is my kind of this is my kind of vibe, organic green and blacks. I've been uh, what I've been rocking here some, some birthday chucky, some you know it's the, it's the smuggest chocolate you can get. Um, it's it's raw organic chocolate, you know. That's usually my vibe. And if I'm really if I'm really sort of going for it, I'd have some uh, some organic. Uh, oh. oh. I'm a mango. Look at this mango. Um, organic uh, dried mango from Refill. Check out Refill. Brilliant. Based in uh, Toxic TV, my friend Mel. Should go and check out. You can buy all these, all the groovy, um, all the groovy stuff over there with Mel. Organic dried mango and stuff. Hello. Should we just see how the footy, the footy guys are getting on? No, it's boring. No, thank you, thank you. But uh, let's see. I haven't heard any. Oh, it's still. Let's see. Eight minutes gone. No, it's like. Uh, oh God. Dead. Sixteen minutes gone. Nil, nil. Boring. Empty head. Is anyone having a vibe over there? I don't think so. I sincerely doubt it. Let's get the. Uh, so I have to. Uh, so yeah, I've had a nice day. I'm I'm um, I've been asked by Grand Central Hall to come in. They're doing a live streaming thing, so I'm actually doing my. F I'm actually a sound engineer again on Saturday, so I'm working um, tomorrow, which is Friday and Saturday. So I'm eight till two both, and then on Saturday I'm working eight until two, and then half two until ten. So I'm doing a fourteen hour day, uh, like like the old school days in the Casimir. Just show up and pass me the ball. Please, I'm good at footy. Oh, they're all billionaires anyway, so that's fine. Um, okay, so everyone noticed, if anyone tuned in yesterday, I had a, uh, a twitchy eye. I was like, oh no, my eye's going to be twitchy forever. Oh, um, my eyes. Uh, so, you know, when you get the it's like hiccups for the eyes. If anyone's wondering why the second the second camera, I haven't got it going today because I, I tried tried to switch it on a second ago and it had run out of battery. So um, obviously I'm going to get better at cycling in the batteries and you know battery management and whatnot. <laughs> um, but I haven't got it going right now. So you know I could have done like a super sweet kind of move there. But so um, yeah, I just my eyes are better now. And I think it's probably down to the fact that I got eight hours sleep last night. I was in bed at half nine, got up at half quarter to six. So sweet, um, eight hours fifteen. Sorry, this is the most boring thing in the world. I just realised, <laughs> but whoever's watching, thank you. You know, it's better than watching. Uh, I don't know who's playing Man City. I mean, I, I don't know. You know. Uh, so there's a, there's a book that's been following me around, and I haven't really had a chance to use it. I was freaking out a little bit about my eyes. Like, what happens if I just have you know all these people that has a twitchy eye forever? So I got this. I, I pulled out. Um, I pulled out face size uh, again, which I kind of showed the other day. 
Um, face size, like I say, has been following me around by the wonderful Carol Maggi. I don't know if it's triggering because uh, she's obviously blatantly had work done. Um, I don't know. That's what that's what lots of my uh, my pals seem to think. She se thinks she's a bit of a huckster, a bit, bit bogus. But uh, it, you know, we'll see. I'm going to try it out. So um, yeah. So this book, the I found this book in a charity shop. It just it just sprang out at me, and uh, about ten years ago, I was um, I was taking some acid with some pals, and I don't recommend it. I don't advocate it, but I think sleep, you know, th good nutrition, friends, and everything. But in, every now and then, you know, dr drugs are okay. You know, if it's if it's dry and it's good, it's a drug essentially. Um, so everything's a drug, you know, including including the internet. So you know, get off your high high horse i'm not advocating it don't recommend it but when i did i was laugh i laughed for about 17 hours continuously at this book um uh, with my friends in a in a basement chuckling give yourself a natural facelift a phenomenon she's so 90 she's she is to the 90s face what jane fonda was to the 80s body shaping to 80s body shaving, fantastic, thanks. Give yourself a natural facelift with exercises to enhance your natural beauty in slow aging. Carol, so it's, oh, it's Carol Maggio has put together a set of scientifically designed precision face exercises. Let's face it, it doesn't say that, that work directly on the facial muscles. Dramatic results can be achieved in six days as shown by the before and after pictures. You can change the color of your complexion, wow, I haven't read this before. That is intense. Give yourself a long-awaited, high-cheekboned look. Restore your lips to sexy fullness. Reshape your nose. Remove those sagging jowls. Prevent frown lines and reduce under-eye puffiness, giving yourself lifelong youthful experience. Right, this is... Uh, whoa, whoa. So I thought, because this book's been following me around, I thought I'd try the... Um, the eye enhancer. So doesn't this look like something you do at school when you were like, um, I think it's the lower eye. Like you just like, uh, oh god, yeah, I'm just enhancing my eyes whilst flipping someone the V's. Just, en just enhancing my eyes, mate. Mm. Anyway, you know, maybe I don't have to use this book. Maybe I'll throw this book in the bin. Uh, maybe I'll give it to a friend. Maybe I'll sign it and give it to one of my noisy P fans. Um, um, but yeah, let's help, let's read it. Exercise. It's actually exercise too. The lower eyelid, because that's what was twitching. I think no, it was the upper eyelid, wasn't it? I can't remember. But you're supposed to. It says the method. This exercise may be done sitting or lying down. Place your index fingers at the outer corner of each eye and your middle finger in the inner corner of each eye. Right. Squint strongly with the lower lids, eyelids, thinking up. Feel your outer and inner eye muscles flex. Squint and release 10 times. Squint and release. Ten times. Keeping your upper eyelids open wide. Now hold the squint and think up. Maintaining the strong squint with your lower eyelids as you count to 40, focusing on the outer and inner eye muscle flexing. Repeat the entire exercise. So I'm going to do it for five seconds now. Follow me. Welcome. Carol Maggio's face exercise. Okay, here we go. I might start, I might commence with a vibra slap. Uh. Wow, I feel so much better. Thank you, Carol Maggio. Let's check it. I haven't checked her out recently because I just don't want to. I don't want to mess with that, but um, one thing I was going to say, um, yeah, I just got the word uncajolable. I just wrote that down. For, uh, uncajolable. I think uh, I was talking about the 
drugs, dry, dry plus good is drugs, because I always remember my one of my heroes, uh, Richard Alpert, who was, um, t yeah, he became like a Ram Dass and all this kind of interesting spiritual. He took, um, he, he tried to, he basically dosed his guru with loads of, um, with loads of acid and he, uh, and he didn't, nothing happened because this guru was uh, just uncajolable was my, was my, was my, was my kind of conclusion because he's so zen and I feel like the same, I, say I meditate and I feel like no one can mess with me anymore. Um, anyway, no one can mess with me. Um, so yeah, that's it. That's probably enough time, isn't it? Let's see the Liverpool Scouse guys. They won the league, so we're the best, and um, the foot stuff and all that. So uh, yeah. So thanks for tuning in. Um, I haven't got the. Um, oh yeah, if, where where is this? Uh, what are you saying? You know what I mean. Just let me know. This I've had some. Me. What are you saying? That's not my car. Please get in touch. Let me know what I'm doing right. If I've like done something that you thought was fun, that I should be exploring. I've got like a gillian like kind of groups here. I just do. I've been like fear of blissing out. Let's go through it. I've got some jokes, pithy retort. You know, all these things that I have completely forgotten about that people say that was fun. You know, impressions. You know. The Real flex, yeah. Botswana, we've done that, it's 25 or 26 now, so, yeah, if anyone's got anything that you think, Rob, you've just you've completely forgotten the, the best thing, it's, obviously I'm going to start rating vibes, everyone's like, how you vibrate, and you not, you haven't even rated one vibe on your show, well, I have, because I'm keeping, I'm rating myself, you know, I'm rating these vibes, so, and I'm whispering your stress, because you're watching this, and you're getting less stressed, and all that, so I'm doing my job. Uh, I'm going to do one tomorrow, I think. I'm going to show you what my workplace is like. I'm going to show what it's like being on the phones and all that. Um, see you later. Um, have a good evening, and I hope that uh, everything goes absolutely perfectly. Uh, so that's commentator's curse. So I uh, love you.